Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to Speed Secrets. Today we're working with the guys from Comp Cams and it's all about performing a cam swap on an LS3 crate motor. Now normally when we do this kind of test, the LS3 crate motor has factory LS3 heads. This particular crate motor came from Gander Chevrolet and it already had CNC ported L92 heads from GM Performance. Our thinking was that the ported hedge should help the cam swap make even more power. To find out, we set up a test. This was actually a simple test. We compared the factory LS3 cam to the comp cam. Before the test, we made a few changes to our LS3 crate motor. We installed the CNC ported L92 heads from GM Performance. We also replaced the factory drive-by wire throttle body with a manual version. We installed long tube headers, then dialed everything in with a fast XFI management system. Start with an LS3 crate motor. Add CNC L92 heads and a fast XFI management. Then up on the dyno. With our crate motor up on the dyno, let's make some noise. <laughs> Good power with the stock cam. Now for the comp cam. Out came the stock cam and in with the comp cam. We also upgraded the springs. Then back on the dyno. <laughs> Serious power with the comp cam. Check out those power gains. Okay guys, the results are in, and as you can see, that cam swap was worth some serious power. Equipped with those CNC ported L92 heads from GM Performance, our LS3 crate motor produced 503 horsepower and 497 foot-pounds of torque. But after the cam swap, the power output jumped to 569 horsepower and 522 foot-pounds. I mean, those are gains of 63 horsepower and 25 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, that's some serious power. You've got basically an all aluminum small block making almost 600 horsepower. No matter how many times I test these LS motors, they always impress me. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.